Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In this video, I have an Xbox One S. Uh, in this video, based on your request, I'm gonna show you guys how to open it up and how to change the power supply or power unit for this one. This particular one is an Xbox One S model 1681. This applies for any Xbox One S. So first thing first, uh, what we need to do, we need to get inside this and I'll leave the link in the description where you can purchase the new power unit. So uh, let's get into it. First thing first, you wanna uh, check on the back side. There's a warranty label right in the corner. You wanna peel this off or if you don't, you can just leave it on, but you can go ahead and peel it off. But I, I will leave it on, there's nothing. You need to get yourself a uh, opening tool, something like this is a, you can get a flat screw, flat heavy screwdriver, something really hard and a little tiny bit pointy, a little bit pointy, not too pointy. And using this one, we're gonna uh, remove the bottom uh, tray right here. In order to remove, you're gonna start off right where the warranty label is. So you wanna stick this one right in there and you wanna lift it up and just move it forward to this side a little bit. You're gonna hear a little bit of clicks. There. Now you're gonna do the side, same thing on the side, put it on the beside it and just lift it up. There. Now we're gonna do the other side. There. There. Now we can put it face down. And we can go ahead and lift it up. If it doesn't come out too much, do the same, do a little bit more of the side front. Or you can go and start doing the front end. So just put this one in here. Let me put it in this position so you guys can see it. I'll put it there. 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 There we go. Little bit of force and not excessive, you can get this thing to open. I need to do this corner one. There. And there we have it. This is the bottom tray. So we can go ahead and clean up this one. And now at the bottom here, this is the bottom cover, metal cover. Pretty much this is, everything is inside here. What we need to do to, in order to remove the top plastic here, we need to remove the green screws. Those are the F screw that are identified with an F3, F2, F1. Remove those. There should be about five of them. I'm gonna use my iFixit tool set. All right, we're gonna be using torque number 10. And we're gonna remove all the green screws. They're kind of hard, but you have to open it up. So there's one. There are six of them actually. Remove all six big long screws. And next thing is put it face down, normal position. And now what do you want to do? You want to pull this side open just a little bit and the other side. Just pull it up and pull the back end towards the front. And there's your bottom, there, I mean the top cover. All right, the next thing is, we got the front panel right here. We're gonna remove the top plate here. Just pull it up. There's no screws or anything like that. Put this to one side. And down here we have the heat, pot, heat sink and fan the DVD-ROM, the hard drive, and the power unit. We're gonna be removing this power unit from here. In order to remove the power unit, we're gonna be removing few screws down here. So you're gonna flip it back over. You gotta remove this one, this one over here, and this one over here. These three screws right here is a C6, C2, and C1. 
These are all the same size, so just remove it with the same screwdriver. There we have it. Now, once you remove this one, actually, because the hard drive goes over the power unit here, so I didn't want to, but we have to remove the hard drive too. So go back down again, remove this one over here, and this one, yeah, we gotta remove these three too. One, two, three. Remove the three screws over on this side for the hard drive. That one over there. This one over here. And this one over here. Once you remove those, when you lift it up, watch out the hard drive is gonna be hanging. So there we go. The hard drive stays like that, so you can just pay it, pull it to one side. Now you can go ahead and lift up this one. But it won't just come up because the uh, cable is connected to the motherboard. What you want to do, you want to unhook this cable from here. There's a little bit of a hinge right there. Just push this hinge backward. And while you're pulling it, uh, pushing it that way, just pull this cable up. So pull it and pull the cable up. And the thing that we, we were pushing is this one here. So we gotta push this one inward so the clip can go back. So this one otherwise is gonna hold it. So once you have that, just lift up the power unit. This one is a 12 volt power unit with a 10 amp. So get the new one in. Once you got the new one, the model for this one, model, N15-120P1A So that's again N15-120P1A That's the model number for this one. I'll leave the link in the description where you can buy one Once you got the new one in all you want to do you want to put it in this position here Make sure this holes right here. They have to go right through these three holes down there So align it Place it in there, and now what you want to do is just push this contact right there. If you can't get it there, just push it down with a screwdriver. Make sure it goes all the way down. All right, next is to put the hard drive back over on top of this. Make sure this hard drive has a little, the plastic pins on the case. These tiny plastic things has to go right through the holes. So you gotta juggle it around, move it around in order to sit nicely in its place. Once it's in its place, you wanna hold it with your hand this way. While you're holding it, I'm not letting it go. I'm gonna switch my hand while I'm holding the hard drive. I wanna put one of the screws at least in there. I'm using my other hand underneath to holding the hard drive. I'm putting one of the screws right there. So now the hard drive actually stays there. It's not gonna fall off. I can just put it down and put all these screws that we removed. So put the other two screws for the hard drive on this side. And the three screws for the power unit. And the one over here. Once you got that in there, you can put it back again, face up. Grab the bottom. The, I mean the top metal chassis and you want to place it on top remember when you put it on top it's going to squish this foamy thing right there so you don't want to damage this foamy thing so what do you want to do you can do two things put this down put this side down first and pull this foamy thing right there now you can let it go and the rest just sits on top once you have it in this position, make sure it's nice in place. Grab the top cover. Make sure you put the front end in there first. So grab the front end, put it all the way down towards the table. Slide it inward. And once you're in there, go all the way back. Now what you wanna do, you see this part over here, this is offset. So you wanna lift up this part and put it over this side so make sure it goes over nicely both side now it's a nice toggled in place put a face down grab the bottom screws 
place them in the car. There's, there's only one hole they can go. It's, it's set by F. There's an empty one here. It doesn't have any numbers or anything like that. It doesn't go in there. So only goes where it says F1, F6. And now just tie up the screws. There we go. And the last step is to grab the bottom tray and make sure again the bottom tray has a tiny sink buttons right here. Make sure the sink button goes down first. So put it in this position and then bring it towards. And you want to align it right on top. Make sure it's nice and aligned. You want to press it down in the corners. You want to hear those clicks. Do it all the way all around. And there we have it. And it's all done. And that's how you change your power unit for your Xbox One S versions. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys liked it, click that thumbs up button. And if you guys subscribe, I really appreciate it. And if you have any requests, you know where to leave them. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.